the democratic narrative leading up to 2020 has, is now being formulated. And it's being formulated in real time. It's being backfilled. And it's being backfilled because it turns out that the democratic narrative was supposed to be Donald Trump is a Russian tool. And it's no longer Donald Trump is a Russian tool. Now it is America is rife with racism. Donald Trump is representative of the James Buchanan South. That Donald Trump is representative of, of John C. Calhoun. Right? That, that's, that, that is who Trump is. That's what America is. And this is now the narrative that is being pushed by the left. Now, as I say, as we will see, there is, a, there is more than a grain of truth to the idea that slavery was a deeply rooted, endemic part of American life for several hundred years, right? beginning in 1619 and ending officially in 1863. Right? Yes, that is official. It depends on whether you're dating it from the Emancipation Proclamation or the 14th Amendment. You might say 1865. In any case, the, the fact is, Slavery was, of course, a massive part of America's history. Jim Crow was a massive part of America's history. But it is a lie to suggest that America was founded based on slavery. Surely the Puritans who arrived in, in, on the Mayflower were not there to bring slavery about, nor was it the Southern economy that lent the great strength of America's economy her strength. We'll get to that in just one second. But here's the thing. Beto O'Rourke, who is now trying to channel exactly what the media want from him. So Beto O'Rourke is a man in search of love. Beto O'Rourke had that love back in the 2018 Senate race against Ted Cruz. He had it going, right? It was, it was gonna be his moment and the media loved him for it. Well, now Beto O'Rourke is a man in search of love. He is searching for media love and the only way he can see toward finding it is becoming the most white, woke person on planet Earth. So yesterday, Beto announces his campaign. His campaign is that America was founded on racism and so we need a woke white guy who was born into immense privilege. He's worth about $9 million because his daddy was very, very wealthy and very, very powerful in his area. We need that guy to lead us to a broader American future. In this country, though we would like to think otherwise, was founded on racism, has persisted through racism, and is racist today but this racism, though foundational, for so long, it had flown under the surface. But it was only until this administration and this president that that racism was invited out into the open. Trump is the real America, according to Beto O'Rourke. Right? Trump is representative of America's true, dark, evil, slave-ridden heart. Now, you may be saying to yourself, I've never held a slave. I am not a racist. And you're right. You've never held a slave. You're not a racist. But according to the Democrats, even if you are not a racist, you still suffer from the after pangs of white supremacy. It is buried deep within you. It is unconscious. It's exactly as AOC said a couple of weeks ago in a tweet thread. White supremacy is so deeply embedded in American life that there is no way of extricating it from American life, which suggests that the only solution is radical chemotherapy. But if the cancer is everywhere, if it has infected the entire body politic, the only answer is radical chemotherapy. And that's what Beto is calling for. This justifies the radical changes Democrats are calling for. It justifies the overthrow of a lot of the wonderful, great things about America. Because after all, if all those wonderful, great things are rooted in one of the most evil institutions in the history of mankind, it's difficult to make the moral case for them being retained, even if they have had some good positive effect. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Ben Shapiro Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of our future content.